Hey, what's up, my cochinos and cochinas? All my quarantine cochinos and cochinas. Welcome back to another fucking video. I'd like to um, welcome you back. I just said that. So um, we're doing another mukbang, gangbang, finger bang, do your thing. And before you click off the video because you're bored as fuck, I'm going to give you 10 tips to overcome the coronavirus or any flu or any sickness uh, naturally. Now, these tips aren't 100% guaranteed. Um, I'm not sure if they're even 0.1% guaranteed um, or 0.01. I mean, there's no guarantees at all in this life, so fuck it. I'm just going to give you these tips. Um, I'm just going to give you the tip. And then um, it's up to you if you want to try them out and see if they work for you. Like I said, I'm not promising you to get well uh, because of these. But these are 10 tips that I believe, you know, that I grew up on, um, you know, 10 different uh, ways that you can possibly get over any of your sicknesses, including the coronavirus. You know, that's a hot topic right now. Um, I know that they're working on vaccines and shit, but we'll get into that. Uh, while we're, um, before we get into that, let me go ahead and show you the fucking food that we got today. We're doing jalapeno poppers from Jack in the Box or Yak in the Box, depending how Mexican you are. All right. So check that out. I got the seven piece and I also got some fucking ranch, bro. You know, the buttermilk ranch from Jack in the Box. So we're going to go ahead and get into that, all right? So uh, make sure to like the video. You know, go ahead and share it on Twitter, Facebook, if you think it'll be helpful for anybody. Uh, remember, you know, I'm just a cholo, you know what I mean? Like, I grew up on the streets, and, uh, you know, I grew up in a Mexican household. And uh, this is what I learned from my parents, my forefathers, and just random people from Mexico when I got drunk and woke up. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and... Uh, get intimately involved with these jalapeno <laughs> hollow damn bro my spanish is all fucked up sometimes my jalapeno peppers let's go ahead and get fucking uh jalapeno poppers jalapeno peppers is also you know the right way anyways so we dipped it in some fucking ranch go ahead and take a look at that crispiness that deliciousness that fucking buttermilkiness that fucking uh paws sauce you know what i mean fucking delicious right all right Check that out, homie. Freshly fried in oil. Fresh out the fryer for me and you. I know you're at home wishing that you could have some. Hopefully. If you're quarantined, you bought enough jalapenos and flour and shit and queso that you can do it on your own. Now, I don't know if this video is going to get taken down or hated on or whatever. But like I said, these are 10 tips. You know what I mean? These aren't 10 proven methods or anything like that whatsoever. So use them at your own risk. I'm not a doctor. Um, I do recommend that you see your doctor. You know what I mean? If you think you have the coronavirus or any kind of sickness, see them first. But if you don't want to, that's your prerogative. You know what I mean? If you want to take the natural methods first, that's up to you. All right. Number fucking one. All right. Actually, number 10. I'm sorry. We're going to go backwards, right? All right. Number 10. <clears throat> now, this method is, you know, from what I know, and from what I've experienced, we'll get rid of any sickness, any cold. You know, it doesn't really matter. But it's Vicks, all right? Vicks Vapor Rub. Wherever the problem is, just rub it on there, you know what I mean? Unless it's in the private region, then uh, don't rub it there unless you want to fucking be burning and shit. No matter where you put it, it's going to burn. But if you put it in your private area, you're going to be fucked, you know what I mean? Don't do that. Go to Planned Parenthood like you need to, you know what I mean? Just when you go there, say that you're going there to... Um, pick up your friend or something like that you know if somebody sees you so yeah vix number 10 vix number nine all right now this one is proven especially in mexico you know what i mean um this is coming from generation to generation it's come down the line um and it's been proven with a lot of people you know what i mean so number nine is tequila Take you a shot of tequila and you'll kill whatever virus there is in your system. You know what I mean? Not just any alcohol, 
It has to be tequila because of some kind of like powers in the tequila plant that you won't find in other alcohols. All right. <clears throat> Which, you know, speaking of plants, brings me to number eight. Weed, marijuana, pot, um, yeah, cannabis. Smoke a lot of weed. Um, you know, if you really want to get rid of all the parasites, um, the parasitic activity within your body, all the viruses, you know what I mean? Everything in your body, you want to normalize it, get rid of any um, cancers or, you know, future cancers and shit like that. Marijuana is a great way to go to smoke a lot of weed. Uh, nowadays, you could do like edibles and, and CBD oils and shit like that. Um, but... You can keep it old school, you know, smoke a nice fat blunt, and you're good to go. All right? That was number eight, right? All right. So we have Vicks, we have tequila, we have weed. Fuck. I should fucking just splatter all over, homie. I thought it got on my shirt, but I don't think it did. God damn. Stupid. All right. Where were we at? So we did Tequila 10. We did, uh, no, we did Vix 10. Tequila 9. Weed 8. All right. Number 7. Now, this one's very, I mean, they're all very controversial. But, This one's especially controversial. And these next two are going to go in direct opposition of each other. So you let me know in the comments below. Alright. So number seven is go vegan. Alright. I'm just going to leave it at that. Number six Is go keto. So like I said, the next two are going to be direct opposition of each other. And when I say keto, I mean like meat-based keto, not vegan keto. Now, I firmly believe that it really depends on where you come from. You know, what your cultural background is, you know, how your body works. You're going to have to see what works for you. You know what I mean? But like I said, oh, that was the Starbucks I had earlier. Like I said, none of this shit's guaranteed. None of this shit is 100%. You just kind of got to find out what works for you. You know what I mean? And if you want to use them in combination with one another, you could do that as well. All right. So we got 10, um, VIX, 9 tequila, 8 weed. Seven vegan, six keto. Number five, all right? Number five, um, I don't want to say this is controversial, but um, use steam rooms, all right? They say sweating that shit out is supposed to help, but you got to make sure that if you do it, you know what I mean? It has to be done. Santa, Santa, uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. Uh, Santa, you got to. Be sanitized and shit. You gotta make sure that you're not in there with anybody else that, you know, once the toxins and fumes and shit leave your body, you don't want anybody else to get that shit. So you wanna make sure that you're using a private one or, you know what I mean, you're making sure it's sanitized pr appropriately before you leave. All right? So we got uh, number five, which is steam rooms. Number four, all right? Have sex at least once more per day. So if you're only having sex once per day, make it two. If you're not having sex at all, you know, find you someone to have sex with and make it one. You know what I mean? If you can't find someone to have sex with, um, then you got to up your masturbation. You know what I mean? I've been demonetized since I started this video, so I don't give a fuck. So yeah, if you got to masturbate, you know, up it one more time. If you're doing like two times a day, you're going to have to do three. If you're already maxing it out and going like five times a day because you got time and you're quarantined and you're just horny as fuck, like, man, you know what I mean? 
you're still gonna just up it one more time, you know what I mean? Even though you're already doing extra credit and shit, you wanna make sure you get that one more time. That was number four, all right? Number three, this is also controversial. I think they all are, right? All right, number three. I don't recommend any of these. Well, I recommend some of them, but I'm not gonna tell you which ones because I don't wanna get in trouble for it, you know what I mean? But uh, number three, all right. I and like I said, you know, it's it has something to do with doing coke or something like that. But I don't want you, you know, I'm just gonna leave it at that. You know, I could mean Coca Cola, you know, whatever it is. Don't do it. But I've heard, you know what I mean. All right, number two, another controversial one. As they all are, like I said. But number two, fasting. All right. Now this one, out of all the ones I've said so far seems to be probably the most realistic to actually making an impact you know what i mean it's it's called autophagy um fasting i guess repairs your body i guess us as humans many years ago we didn't have access to food all the time we had periods of healing where our body um had a break from constantly eating and our digestive system wasn't working all the fucking time so fasting is supposed to be very very helpful um Regardless if it kills the viruses or flu or anything like that, it does other things in your body. You're going to want to research it. Um, who speaks on the topic is pretty um, intelligent. I don't know, bro. Look it up. All right. And number one, another controversial one. It's up to you. I don't know what you believe. You know what I mean? But prayer. You know what I mean? Pray that shit out. Some people like to pray and not do action. But you know what I mean? I'd say you do one through nine. I'm sorry. Two through nine. Two through ten. I'm not able to count. Two through ten with prayer, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's going to be weird. Like, man, I'm snorting coke and drinking tequila and having hella sex and praying. But you know what I mean? You incorporate them all together, it fucking works, you know what I mean? It's like a fucking, uh, like a combination deal, you know what I mean? So, um, thank you for watching this. Um, I hope the government doesn't take this down. These are just tips. These aren't recommendations. In fact, I don't recommend you do any of them, especially if they're not legal. Um... But hey, live your life. Do what you got to do. Um, and before I go, so I don't get in trouble, this was all just a joke. Um, I'm just fucking around. None of it works. Don't do any of it. Um, go see your doctor. And when there's a vaccine available, get your vaccine. All right. Um, all right. Now that I said that, see you guys on the next one. Let me know in the comments below what your tip is or what you've learned or, you know what I mean, how to naturally get rid of that shit. So, all right. I'm out.